Yep. So uh, here's today's Aztec vlog topic. Well, 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 isn't that just great? So the other day I came out here and I was waiting for my wife to get home because we were going to go get some dinner. So I got home before her and I was like, you know, haven't started the tech in a little, you know, in a, in a couple days. I'll get it running, listen to the radio, and I'll just wait for her to get home. It was raining earlier the day that day, but then the sun kind of poked out for a while. And uh, by the time I got home, it was a little warmer than it was supposed to be. So the inside of the Aztec was a little warm just from the sun, you know. So I'm sitting in there and it's kind of warm. So I decided to put the window down. So the window goes down. And I've had the windows down before. All four windows work. Obviously, the sunroof works. So all of the windows in the car work perfectly fine. Never had an issue uh, with any of the windows as I've been using them. Uh, just, you know, on occasion when I'm sitting in the car and just letting it run for a little bit. So my wife comes home and, uh, you know, she goes in the house to, you know, just change real quick or whatnot. And I decide, you know, it's time to wrap up the tech. So first thing I do is I turn off the radio. And then I go to put the window up, and the window is not going up. And at this time, it looks like the rain is coming back. The clouds started coming in, and I have uh, a vehicle with the window completely down, and it will not go back up. And not only will that window not work on my driver's side, but I tried putting the other windows down using the driver's side doors, door controls, and nothing worked there either. So honestly, my first assumption was that the switch in the driver's door had just finally kaput. And uh, I say that because uh, I think it might have been the Alero, my old Alero from years and years and years ago, uh, had a similar issue where the switch the master window switch gave out and it wasn't working any of the windows. So that was my theory. Um, I reached over to the passenger door and put that window down and that window up. So the power is still going to the passenger door. I tried to reach to the back and I got nothing from either one of those. But that master switch on the driver's door has the lockout for the rear windows. So um, I think the Alero had the same issue. When that switch went bad, it knocked out the other windows as well because it's, you know, there's a lockout on there. So I think it just has something to do with that. So now I'm concerned because the rain's going to come back and I have to find something to cover up the window. Luckily, I found a roll of painter's plastic. Uh, from when we bought the house and we were painting. Had a brand new roll of it. Just came out here, draped it on, took a couple of magnets to kind of hold it up against the door. And uh, that's the result there. So yes, I pulled off the switch already. Didn't have the camera with me because I was in a hurry to try to get this out and get the plastic on and stuff, you know. So I, I really didn't do any filming yesterday in regards to this that's why we're doing it today but this is the switch you know um, and you know the funny thing is I mean the buttons and stuff the driver's button is a little worn of course but honestly I'm not sure if this is the original one or not these buttons actually look pretty decent and I mean just in general um, you know I, I took this to work today and one of the technicians opened it up and the inside of this thing is clean. Uh, there's no what he calls green death corrosion. Um, the capacitors, he said, looked to be okay. It didn't look like anything was bulged, like like the energy blew it up or something. I don't know. But he said it looked pretty decent. 
So he started kind of making me wonder if there's another issue. Um, I could have checked the fuses, but if the one window was still working, uh, I, I'm assuming that the fuses are okay. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know. But just because based on my past experiences, I think this is the culprit. I think this just, at some weird time, I think it just gave out. So, today, we made a junkyard run. It's been a while since I've been to the junkyard. And at the junkyard, I pulled this. So, this is a... Uh, this is out of a 2004 Aztec. Orange. It was an orange Aztec. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, this one's like a little dirtier. A little dustier. I don't know if it's just because... You know, whoever had the car maybe didn't clean them all the time. I don't know. Like, clean the, the door, keep it clean, I don't know. But it's dusty a little bit. Um, the buttons... My buttons look better. I don't know what it is. Like, the font and stuff just looks better on mine. So I might pry the buttons off and put mine on if this works. I don't know if it works. I pulled it myself, so I couldn't really test it, you know. Um, but I did buy a warranty... To go with it for you know a few days so uh, you know we'll plug it in tonight and we'll see if it works hopefully it does hopefully there's no other issues there and uh, yeah just hope that goes by you know okay you know what I think the one out of my Aztec was original because this one has the same type of label on the side of it it, it just kind of says Mexico and the other one has the the same thing so yeah, so that must be the original switch. Uh, but this being an 04, if it works, hopefully it'll buy me a little more time. If that is the original switch that I pulled out of my Aztec, that's 170,000 miles worth of window usage. So that's surprising. Who knows what this 04 Aztec had on it. But I bought that. Also, you know, because I got to make the trip to the junkyard count, <laughs> uh, I found the cup holder liners. There's some stuff in this one. Actually, they're both pretty grody. I gotta really, really clean them up. This one is sticky. It's got sticky stuff on the bottom of it. But uh, yeah, so um, been looking for these for a while, and uh, I found one of them in one Aztec, and I found the other in that um, that one Aztec that I, I showed on the. On the camera, the one I bought the manual from, it had one of them also. So I got both of them. And I bought one other thing. Technically two things, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them. I just saw them and decided to kind of roll with it. And if I have to go back and get the rest of it, then so be it. But I bought the keys for the orange Aztec. Surprisingly enough, it still has the de like dealer tags on it. But there's two keys here. Uh, again, they're they're older, they're kind of worn, but they're in a lot better shape than the key that I have for my Aztec. My key is cracked down the side, like down the middle, and it looks like the blade can like fall out whenever. So my plan is to see if I can have the ignition at some point in time re-keyed and programmed to these keys. And if I can't do that, then I may just have to go back to the yard before they get rid of this orange Aztec. And I might have to just buy the ignition. And then with that, I'm sure the ignition's going to have to be programmed to the car regardless. But we'll see. But I bought the keys anyway. And if I can't use these, then I guess I'll just have two keys to add to my collection. My key collection. So, By the way, a brand new one of these is around $140. Sure, I could probably find one cheaper than that, but... This, uh, actually, how much was this? Um, let's see. So the switch was $8.99, so $9. And the cup holders were $2 together, so like a dollar a piece for the cup holders. And she didn't charge me for the keys. She just let me take the keys. So, actually, no. She charged me one cent for the keys. <laughs> That's cool. One cent. There's not even an item there. It's just one cent. So, okay. That's that. Now, let's go take a look at this. Oh, uh, my poor girl. 
So surprisingly enough, the magnets actually stayed. Tried to get it to pull down a little bit, you know, toward here because this side's kind of open, but it's draped over the entire door. So uh, let's see, let me get that in my pocket. And then I guess we'll just open it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, it uh, didn't take a whole lot to, uh, it didn't take a whole lot to really get this off. I was thinking I was going to have to take these screws out, and I did, but it didn't do anything. Uh, so this, all you had to do was take like a flathead screwdriver, pry this trim off, uh, you know, try to get it out of the way. You can probably take the door lock switch off if you wanted to, but I didn't. So you just gotta kinda mess with it. It's kinda tight against the handle. Yeah, something like this. And uh, there's two harness that go into the back, or the bottom of that window switch. So this one here is for the lockout at the top, and this one here is for your other four windows. So these look good. Uh, and then to get the switch out, there's like little things on the um, on the casing of the switch, these little, you know, things here. And those are, those go in there. So you basically just pry, you know, the, the lips of these, uh, and then you just kind of pull it off and undo the wiring. And that's it. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to need both hands to do this, but I'm just going to plug these in before I actually get it in here. And I want to change those buttons too, because mine, mine do look a little better. Anyway, so we'll plug these in. Uh, there should still be enough power in here to at least give me power to the windows and stuff. But if we need to, I'll jump it and we'll get it running. Okay, so ignition... Buttons light up, so switch might be good. Ah, uh, see the doors still work. All right, so like I said, nothing here, nothing for the back, nothing for this side. But if we go here, it still works just fine. The back ones, where is it? Nothing for the back, so it's like the lockout is on, but the lockout, is it on? Let's see. Nope, so nothing still. Fascinating. So, what went wrong? Very curious now. Um... Well, I guess we can start looking at some fuses. And uh, I guess we'll go from there. Uh, this probably isn't going to be a fix it tonight thing, most likely. Oh boy, too far, I think. All right, here we go. Let's look at these first. So the door locks has its own fuse. 35 is for the window. So there's one fuse for the windows. Okay, just one fuse in there. Uh, under the hood. Mm. I only see one fuse. One fuse for the uh, for the windows. I mean, there's a chance that I could have bought another, another bad switch. Uh, so, I mean, I could take it back tomorrow. I could take it back tomorrow and, you know, we'll get another one and see if it's any different. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else for these uh, 
windows as far as fuse goes. There's only the one. All right. So, looking at this. 35 is looking like this really big thing. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So, making sure this is the right thing. And yeah. Wow, what is this? I have never seen a fuse like this before. I can't even look at it. I don't even know if it's blown or not. Dang. All right. Let me do some research. Okay, sorry guys. So from what I can find online, this happens to be like a mini circuit breaker. And I guess it's common for these to fail, but still don't understand why one window would be working. So I don't know if that has anything to do with this or not. But I was looking in the glove box because there are various things in here that came with the car when I bought it. And I, f I found another one. So either this has gone bad before or uh, I don't know, it's just in here for some random reason. Um, I read that you can put a 30, a 30 amp fuse in there as like a, a temporary thing, but it might, you know, it might not last. That's why these are here, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I could put this one in and see what happens if there's any difference, but if not this, I might have to wait until tomorrow. Um, another thing that I read is there could be a bad wire which is what I was afraid of. It could be a bad wire going from the door inside this uh, thing. The harness could ever shorten it, which is really weird for it to happen now all of a sudden. So, I don't know, I suppose I could put this in and see if it works at all. And if not, I'll throw it away. <laughs> I have no way to test it, so we'll just go for it. But the fuse that I had to pull out of the glove box for the uh, power outlet up here works just fine. It still seems to be working from my understanding, so let's, I guess, give this a shot. Okay, so I put that in its place. I put the good, well, the one that was in there, I put that on the floor. Uh, now I gotta hook the jumpers back up and get some power to it and see what it does. Okay. Still nothing. There's got to be power getting to it though because the switch is lit up. Now is this going to do the same thing? Yep. That's really, really strange. Like, really strange. Okay, so... If I take that out, am I going to get lights to this and that? I mean, I guess that would make sense too. The only way this is gonna light is if the uh, fuse is good, correct? That's what I would think. I might as well start this because I don't want it to keep running off the uh, off of the fusion. Ah, so weird. All right. Well, uh, I think. I'm just going to call it quits with this for tonight, and uh, let me go get the jumpers off there real quick. I put that engine cover on it. I don't know if I really mentioned that in any of the other videos, but I threw that cover on there. I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. Um, now I, I wanted to like have maybe like the Aztec logo or something painted on it, maybe to make it stand out a little more. but. I don't know, I kind of miss, I kind of miss all the shininess of the, uh, <laughs> the plenum and, and the valve covers and stuff. I mean, it just, it looks cleaner, it looks simpler, but, uh, I don't know, I just, I kind of miss the natural look of the Aztec engine. I was really surprised to find that thing, though. So, they, it still lights, the doors still work. 
I don't think it's a wire. If if the wires were shorting out, I don't think this would be lit. If the fuse was bad or that little circuit breaker was bad, I don't think this would light either. There'd be no power to it at all. So maybe I bought a bad switch. This still works. This isn't even lit. Oh, got one of them to light. <laughs> but it works just fine. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Gonna have to do some more research on this. Go back to the junkyard tomorrow. I'll, I'll exchange this for another one. And I guess we'll go from there. There's that dog again. <laughs> Whose dog is that? Anyway, there's no way the motor would have given out. Because those would have still worked. So, possibly another bad switch. That's what I'm sticking with. Um, what else? No leaks. Inside of this thing is still dry. It rained a lot. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Good. Extremely low on gas if the gauge is right. I really should get down to the gas station in a couple days and get gas for this. Um, what else? Radio. Um, yeah, there was that weird situation in the one vlog where the radio quit working. It's working fine now. All the buttons are working again. I put a CD in there. The CD worked. I unhooked the battery and rehooked it back up. So I let the I let the computer reset or something and it works just fine. I still think the battery has to do with that. <sighs> All right. Okay. Take two, uh, and hopefully we can get it right because it's pouring outside. Also, now that I'm in the car while it's raining, I just noticed something. There happens to be a water droplet on the dashboard. Fresh water. But... The sunroof is still dry. There's nothing leaking through here. Because this was an obvious thing. I, I had water coming out of here. So the sunroof seems to be okay. So I'm starting to wonder if now the actual windshield is leaking. And... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, there's water there. Right at the end of this thing. So water is still getting in. This is the radio antenna hook up to the windshield. So I bet there's water leaking from the windshield. Which I'm going to have to have redone. I knew the, the outside trim is peeling on both sides of the windshield. But uh, why would it be leaking from the top? So, I mean... A drop here and there. It ran down the stereo. I can see it now. Hopefully it's not going to do that much harm. As long as it's not like downpouring. But uh, yeah, so the, the caulking around the actual windshield. Yeah, because this is a little damp. I can feel it now. And it's kind of a different spot from where the sunroof was leaking. So I don't know. But okay, that'll be, that'll be for another day. But uh, I'll have to take a look at that outside and see what what might be going on out there. So we got our other switch. I pulled the... Uh, this is the last switch from an Aztec at this particular yard. It looks nearly the same. It's dusty and whatnot. Now, if this doesn't work today, uh, then I'm just going to have to order a new one but I'm not going to order one from the parts store I'm going to take to eBay because I can actually find these brand new apparently from like $20 or something and I'd rather do that than paying $140 for a new one from uh, like you know a regular chain store or whatnot so if this happens to work 
great. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to go and uh, order one. If the new one doesn't work, then we have a bigger issue. But honestly, I don't know what that issue can possibly be. So I got in on the passenger side because of the rain, and I don't want that plastic to really get messed up just in case this doesn't work. So now i got to kind of maneuver myself over to the other side of the cart. Okay. The plastic's doing a pretty decent job of keeping the rain out, though. Okay, here we go. Yippee. All right. So, uh, also, I'm not jumping it. Uh, I mean, just because of the rain. If if I get this hooked up and the window starts to want to creep up, then, yeah, I'll jump it and actually get power to it, but get more power, I should say. Okay, she's hooked up. Uh, again, this is from another 04, so still newer than the original one. I swear, my buttons look better. I don't know why I like my buttons more. These actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'll keep them anyway, whatever. All right, here we go. I'm kind of nervous, but the steering wheel's locked. Okay, so slightly dim, not as dim. Should be enough. Oh no, no. See, see, we're still getting power to that one. Nothing to this one. What is going on? I mean, unless it's very common for all of these to be bad. I don't know what's going on. Well, we're back out here. It's another miserable day in Ohio. Another miserable spring day. With, uh, you know, the rain and this. This has been on here for, uh, I think a week at this point. Maybe a little over a week. I don't remember exactly when I started now, but we had a really bad wind the other day. And uh, even though this is, was wrapped around the door or tucked in a little bit, the uh, plastic completely ripped off and was just kind of hanging by what I wrapped around the inside over here and it tore and so it's taped to the car where the hole is and hopefully none of the water got in I didn't crawl over to that side but I got my magnets anyway I just started it so she's first time it's been started in days I'll let it warm up so today we're going to and hopefully solve it this problem this time. I still think it's the switch. I still think it's the switch. Oh, do I feel like crawling all the way over here? See, I don't really want to mess with this in case this doesn't work and I have this all situated. It doesn't look like anything's getting inside, so I really don't want to mess with that. So Anyway, before I crawl over there, we got our brand new Aztec switch, master switch. I'm really hoping that the switches I pulled from the junkyard the other day, or a couple days, you know, last week, or this week, whatever, really hope that they were bad. So this is a brand new, never used Aztec master switch. Looks pretty good. Got it from a switch doctor on eBay. 25 bucks or 26 technically it was like 20 uh, 25 50s I don't know but anyway 26 dollars brand new never used hopefully this will solve the uh, the issue boy I really hope so uh, so yeah let's plug it in and see if this is gonna solve it also uh, the last time I was in here, I when I was crawling back over here to get out of the car, I kicked the knob off of the radio, <laughs> and it's in here. It's in here, but it's broke. So uh, I have that other faceplate 
uh, in the basement, I'm going to pull the knob off and put it on there. Yeah, can't believe I did that. I'm also just now noticing that the gas gauge is doing its, it's doing a little dance. It's fluctuating. Uh, yeah, now it's obviously low. But I was watching it just a second ago and it was kind of going up a little bit and then it went back down and you know what that means. C305 port most likely. That'll give me something to look forward to in the future, I suppose. Okay, new switch is plugged in. Looks like it's orange, so that's cool. Same color. Wonderful. Does it work? Oh no! Alright, so the brand new switch is not doing it either. Still doing over here. Still good over here. In the back. Anything in the back? Nothing in the back. The window's not locked out. Nope. This side. That's wonderful. Well, at least I got a new switch. Great. Unbelievable. Alright, well, from here I'm not 100% sure where to go with this. Um, my only assumption now is we're going to have to tear the inside of the door apart. And we're going to have to... Uh, Maybe inspect the wiring harness. You know, I just don't believe that all of a sudden it would just give out that easily. It was working perfectly fine. And now I got nothing at all. Door, The door still works. Yeah. So I still have power to the locks. But not the window switch. That's just great. I guess one other thing we can do before I wrap this up is uh, I got a uh, I got a wiper on that one uh, arm that was missing the blade. So I guess we can see if the wipers work now. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but hey, let's see if they work. And they work. Wow. Surprising. Washer. It looks foamy, so I guess they did have some soap in there. See, the nice thing about the Aztec wipers is the the soap or the the washer fluid comes out of the arms, so you don't have like a whole lot of overspray and stuff, and it works. I'm glad to see that. Finally, something that works. <laughs> I've never seen it act that erratically since I've had the car. The mileage down there is changing. That's interesting. I've, I've never seen it act like that since I've had it, so... <laughs> So I know now, obviously, that the gauge is not working right, but we're probably going to tackle that on another day. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Fairly decent weather this weekend. I just want to get the uh, I just want to get that up because the wasps and stuff are going to be probably out maybe this weekend because we're supposed to be in the 70s and whatnot, but. Wonderful. Alright guys, so I guess that's it. Stay tuned for part two. We try to figure out maybe what's going on. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. 
and that's it. I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.